Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsosi and welcome back to Beltless Factorio or uh, Rail Heavy Factorio or Train Heavy Factorio. Um, last episode we left off with uh, this train here straight off pulling into the loading station 2 because the first one is disabled and that's a bit of a mess because uh, I think this will then not work out as it should so I think today we will do another optimization uh, episode because in the last few um, we added quite a few things uh, we added the red uh, circuits, we added uh, plastic, we added solar panels, uh, not that that's so important. Uh, we added pipes, engines and blue science. And of course, I would assume, yeah, we are still not even producing military science which we set up already a while back so i think we should knuckle down uh, do a few improvements so that maybe we get uh, our first blue and military science uh, out there soon and looking at pollution over on this side we are at the edge of what we have uncovered and maybe we should also um, deal with these two nests uh, just to make sure that uh, no nests are within our pollution range and it can still grow a bit more uh, without uh, our base being in danger. But I think first uh, let's sort this uh, red um, red circuits loading station out and I think the way we do that is by having a waiting station and then uh, check if we actually can enter into the if we can go into the, the station because there is a sufficient red circuits and we have that logic several places uh, so it's an easy thing to uh, just copy it and adjusting it um, we shall have it here um, we need power for that we need that input and then of course we are talking red circuits not uh, copper plates also here red circuits and red circuits so and then we have an output the output needs to go to the wire framework And we don't have uh, an output for the for the red uh, circuits because we don't have any in there. So basically, this one is is empty. Um, and then I think this one. That's basically the same thing. So we have then 
output here, here, and we need to connect red to here. Right. Then let's set up a waiting station and make sure that our green wire connects to the rest of the network. Just put it in here, up there. Connect over this way. Get all the all the all the uh, electric poles, and then we are here. And there is actually our waiting bay. So let's make this waiting red circuits. All right? And all that we have then to do is connect these up. And last thing to do here is uh, set up the train. We can do that from this view. Um, this one. So actually we need to insert that before here. So let's remove everything after and add uh, waiting waiting red circuits waiting red circuits then here we have a condition condition red circuits larger than zero and there we go and then we have the Loading one again and the loading two again with uh, the item count. And I think I will set that up and then we will move on to the next item that we can optimize. The next project is here at uh, the uh, uh, gear station where I want to figure out a way how to get rid of the special station that we have uh, for the the uh, sign strains, red sign strains, so that we can actually have four stations for gear. And I think what we need here is We should actually be fine if we just switch these out with uh, with regular station, uh, and that would probably cause another problem, uh, namely that we also want to have a waiting station here. So let's add a bit of that here. Um, and then here we do have a problem because we are 
connecting here the insert just to control inserting and then we have green wire where we actually should have red wire at least where we have normally red wire so then here we have gear 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 and gear and we have one gear output connect that to this one and then just copy this setup up here connect the red wire connect the green wire and connect these two now we have two green two two gear two times gear um, and we connect that to this and we have gear on here so now we can go to this train loading station and see that's brick that's an unassigned one so waiting gear loading right nice so all we have now to do is change the order of all the trains that go through here and i think we will start with these two trains because then we can rename this bottom station here and also use it for loading I have not yet uh, set up all the gear trains to go through the waiting station because I saw that some of them also go through here and for the green circuits we don't have a waiting station so I think it would actually be uh, beneficial to have one so let's do that quickly and then we can add a waiting bay up there and then we can do all trains together and then we shall see what else we need to optimize um, probably go for another exploring killing spree uh, before we end this episode so far i have added waiting stations for the gears for the green circuits for the red ones we started with that uh, for the copper wire and changed all the train schedules we don't have waiting stations for uh, the uh, pipes and the plastic and probably what we actually should do is uh, not disabling the loading stations based on the amount that we have on there uh, so that trains will actually go in and if there is not enough there they will just sit there um, but I think at least for plastic we are producing enough so that uh, at the moment it's not an issue and I think to finish this episode off I will take a cruise around the landscape and maybe uh, deal with a few aliens that I come across and 
next time, hopefully, we can do even more optimizations uh, with the focus of uh, getting those new science uh, bottles built. I mean, we have built them, but uh, produced, I mean. All right, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Goodbye.